What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Emmy and today I'm coming at you with a crazy story that happened yesterday. the video of me and Alex and Seb getting arrested literally in the middle of LA and there are lots of false accusations that I'm going to clear up in this video just starting out with that if you don't know who I am I'm a makeup artist um, I've been a makeup artist for like five years I <laughs> paint people's faces I do tooth gems I cut hair I'm a cosmetologist I literally was in the wrong place at the wrong time, got arrested, it looked terrible. But I promise you, we literally did nothing wrong. Number one, also, I live in Maryland currently. I've been living in LA like three years prior to that. Like I went to school here, I moved around. Like I was just like here for like two years, just kind of doing social media, doing like work. But like I live in Maryland. I'm a Maryland resident and that is where I live. So basically, I flew to LA this week for a job. It's basically, I had photo shoots, I had a makeup job, like I had a bunch of stuff to do this week. So I flew in yesterday and when I got here, I got a rental car, I'm in it right now. Basically, I got there and I rented my car and then I headed straight from there to my photo shoot to meet up with Alex and Dana. And we did our photo shoot, all went well, and we went back to Alex and Dana's house, and they live at the Yay house. And basically when we got here, there were like a bunch of cops that were pulling up, like not directly to their house, but like three doors down. So we're like at their house outside, like getting out of our cars, and there's like a bunch of cops, like so many things going on. Like we literally had no idea what was going on. Like we had just gotten out of the car from our photo shoot, and we're going inside, and there's just like a bunch of cops everywhere. And so we're like standing outside, like taking the dogs out. Like we're just trying to like, just, I mean, we were literally standing outside the house and everyone was getting out of their car and we were getting inside and a cop passed by and they were like, they, they looked at us and they were like, have you seen someone running down the street? And we were like, no, what's going on? Cause like, obviously we live here. We want to know what's going on so we can go inside and get safe. They looked at us and they were like, there, we're looking for a male that's running down the street. Someone got stabbed and we were like, oh my God, like what the heck? And so we go inside and we're just sitting there. We have a dinner reservation later and we were just getting ready and me and Alex were hungry. Like we just wanted to get a snack. So we went to, we were planning to go to Jamba Juice and me, Alex and Seb just get our stuff together and we get in the car. We drive the rental car to go to Jamba and we just all are crossing over the street because I parked on the other side of the house or directly across from the house and we get in the car and so apparently the cops at the end of the street must have saw Seb get in the car in the back of the jeep and they saw us pull away and we got like three streets down and then we ended up on a main street and this is where it gets literally so scary and there's like four cop cars like coming at me so fast and they immediately pull beside my car and they're like pull over pull over and I'm like oh my god like what's happening like was I speed like I didn't I wasn't even speeding like I was on like a 30 mile per hour like street like I just turned like I wasn't even on any road that I could have been speeding on and I was like I was like do I not stop at a stop sign like I was like what the heck and so I immediately pull over put the car in park and I see that they have guns and they're pointing their guns at me and they're like all in like their stance of like literally like someone just like I don't know what the I had no idea what was going on my first instinct was oh my god I'm driving a rental car like this is a stolen car like I just 
was thinking that I was driving a stolen car. Like I was thinking that I was just like getting framed for something. Like I had no, cause like, I didn't know why they were pointing guns at us. And they like, I look up and there's four helicopters like surrounding us, like literally like surrounding and like, Oh my God. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's like four or five cop cars. They're like beside me on the other side. There's like rifles, pistols, like the whole deal. And I'm literally sitting here like we were going to Jamba Juice. I have no, I wasn't even thinking about the stabbing in general because he literally, the cop passed by, asked if we, if we saw someone running and we didn't. And then that was it. We just went inside. Like, there's always sirens around here. We live in the middle of the city. Like, what we didn't know what we had no idea what was going on. And I put my hands out the window. We all put our hands out the window. Like, we're like, we don't have anything. Like, we're we're not armed. Like, we don't have. We're not. We're good. So basically we all are like opening the doors to get out and like kind of like surrender ourselves We're like we don't have any weapons like whatever and they like are yelling at us to like get back in the car We're gonna do it one by one and I like we are all trying to ask we're like why are we getting arrested? Like what's going on? Like can someone tell us why we're getting detained? Like what is happening? But basically they tell me to get out of the car they tell they tell the driver to get out first That was me which was scary because I was like, okay, the, I'm like getting arrested like I'm driving a stolen car like that's what I thought because I was driving a rental car so I didn't know what to think so I was like sitting there like oh my god like what is going on and I'm getting out of the car and I'm trying to listen to their like directions as I'm like having an anxiety attack because I have anxiety and I'm having like a mini panic attack I'm trying to keep my like my shit together there's like so many people surrounding us at this point like everybody wants to know what's going on like we're blocking the road like it's like a full like scene Plus, there's, like, so many cops around, and, like, I'm the only person out of the car at this point, and I'm in the middle of the street. Just imagine. Please don't shoot. Don't shoot. Please don't shoot. <gasps> oh, my God. Five or six cop cars around me rifles pistols standing in the middle like this getting on the ground flat like i was armed that's basically what it looked like and i had no idea what i was getting arrested for so i'm like literally standing there being like what what's happening like i'm looking around everyone i'm like somebody record this like this is like this is like not okay like i literally have no idea what's going on like so traumatic i am like trying not to cry my fingers are going numb so like folding inwards because i was just like so shocked and I don't know, I just didn't know what to think. And then I get on the ground, I'm like laying there with my hands by my side and they're like, put your hands out to the side. Or no, they said, put your hands out to your side. And I literally have that on video. And they- Keep your hands out to your side. Driver, keep your hands out to your side. Keep your hands out to your side. Keep your hands out to your side. said it like three times and I was like they are to my side and like at the moment like I couldn't even hear them over the speaker and the helicopters and the people yelling and like everything was going on was like, oh my gosh I didn't know like starfish like put your arms like up out and then your legs out and then face downwards and then they were like turned to the left and I was like okay and then of course I do the next thing for Seb and Alex so Everyone is now on the ground, face down, faced away from the cops. We literally still have no idea what's going on, and they come to detain Alex first. So I start freaking out. Oh my god. Driver is freaking out. Alex, number one, didn't tell her what she was getting arrested for after we asked politely many times. 
they're being very aggressive with her which you can see in the video they like yank her up and they still don't tell her what's going on if and so now she's getting handcuffs put on first and we're literally sitting there have absolutely no clue what's going on and there are so many people who know us around that area who have seen us on social media people around us that are just staring like me and alex like we're bald we attract a lot of attention even if we don't want to like people always want to know like why we are bald so the fact that we're laying on the ground as like literally just targets people are just looking at us are like what like what is going on and so after they arrest alex they go to seb next and then i was after that they arrest seb they do that really aggressively as well and to come to find out he was their prime suspect because he had bleach blonde hair I get arrested in the video you can see me lay on the ground asking the cop may I ask why I'm getting detained and I asked her like three or four times and like she didn't really she didn't tell me at all she said she said we'll tell you in a second or like something like weird and I was like why would I like why am I like I'm just sitting here like why am I getting arrested like you're not telling me like I don't like I you didn't read me my rights you didn't say anything like there's helicopters like I literally have done nothing wrong like this is ridiculous and we get off the ground I'm like standing by the cop car and she was like okay so basically your friend in your car is the suspect of a murder. And I was like, what? And I was like, what? Like, I was so confused. And she was like, so our suspect has bleached blonde hair. And your friend who is in the back of your car, which is Seb, has bleached blonde hair. And I was like, so you're arresting us for, having, for him having bleached blonde hair, basically. So he was a prime suspect because his hair had bleach in it. And he was male and he was tall so basically they did all that because seb looked like the stabber of what just happened in the crime scene down the street so we're literally sitting there like we are going to jamba juice we're like getting questioned we're like telling them everything like totally like what we were just doing i told them i just landed like i just got this rental car like my id's in there like go get my id run up my like address like run up who i am like all of this information i'm like we are good like we don't have a record we're like we are good people and basically seb's getting questioned like trying to figure out where he was like before and we he had just gotten to the house it was like a whole mess and so basically they questioned us me and alex were literally standing in the street and of course there were some girls that noticed us from like tiktok and like from instagram and stuff and they were just like being so rude and they were going this is a great example for like your community like good influencing girls and alex like she just went off on them like as she should because they had no idea what was going on this was a total false accusation we had nothing to do with it and the cop said sorry wrong place wrong time like you just happened to be there when we're looking for someone with bleach blonde hair and we were like like what are we supposed to do of course like people are coming by like saying things and we're like 
we are literally like we did nothing wrong like we're sitting here in handcuffs trying to explain to everybody that we are not supposed to be here like i'm we're just sitting here with handcuffs on ended up taking pictures of seb sending them to like their chief officer just to like make sure like it wasn't him obviously it wasn't him they i feel like they knew that eventually but like after they like looked at him right in the face while they were already like detaining us like I feel like they knew that it was not him, but they had to like proceed with their protocol, which I understand. However, there was so much and I had no idea what was going on. And the fact that I wasn't getting told what I was being detained for and nobody was telling us what's going on. And there were so many guns pointing at us. Like I'm laying on the ground and a rifle and two pistols, even though they know and checked that I was not armed, the car was completely empty, like it's a rental car, there's nothing in it. They searched everything already. They know we are not armed. And that moment, I literally thought I was, I thought I was getting framed for murder, stolen car, something. Someone told them that I did it, Alex did it, Seb did it. Like, I don't know who told what. So in that moment, I was just sitting there thinking that one of us was gonna get killed, one of us was gonna go to jail, one of us was going to be framed for a murder. Like, I had no idea. It was, like, it was just uncalled for. I don't know. I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys what actually happened because there are a lot of accusations saying that we are suspects. We are prime suspects. Like, we were there. Like, we did it. Like, we were, like, f***ing around on the crime scene. Like, no. Number one, we were not f***ing around on the crime scene because we live... We happen to live three doors down, or Alex and Dana live at the Yay House, three doors down from where it happened. We get in our car to go get smoothies and we get arrested. So I don't want to hear the false accusations. I want to hear that you know the situation. I'm here to tell you the situation. We literally did nothing wrong. I am now getting also like people saying, oh, makeup artist Emmy Combs like gets arrested for being the suspect of a murder. Like, no, that's why those titles and those like news reports like don't believe any of that because that is not true that is not what happened we literally just had someone in the car which happened to be our friend who had bleach blonde hair and their suspect down the street had bleach blonde hair that's it all you guys saw the videos don't believe anything anyone else says this is the real story alex is probably going to do a story time like we are all trying to explain what happened because you have no idea what we're doing we were not messing around at a crime scene. We were at our house outside taking the dogs out when we saw it happening down the street. And then we were in our car going to get something to eat when this happened. Ready to go to the ground? And turn left. In front of passenger. Correction, rear passenger on the, on the driver's side. Step one, up. And if you were sitting in your car and four cop cars pointing guns at you while you're driving and you immediately stop and you are not told what is happening for the first 25 minutes of you getting aimed at, I think you would be upset too. So let's not make any more false accusations. Nothing was, we did nothing wrong. And yeah, that's just story time basically. Anyway, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.